Animals Crafts. Welcome back if you've been before. And hi, if this is your first time, I'm going to be doing a floss tube, guys. Can you believe it? Me doing a floss tube. I know it's been a long time, but I've actually done a little bit of stitching. Not a lot, but I have done some, so I thought I'd share it. So first job, we've got the candles lit for anybody that needs prayers, thoughts and positivity. I have got my burner on. See, I have that's been on for a couple of hours. I've just put a new wax in there, so that one's melted. That's lavender and peony, I think I've got mixed in there. But anyway, that's for prayer, sorts, and positivity. So I'll put that over there because we have not been known to set my project bags on fire. Yes, I know. And we've got part of a cup of tea that I've had for about an hour and a half. Because if I show you over there, I am sewing today, so. Yeah, that's my little work here on my kitchen. So, what have I been doing? Right, as you all know, it was the 24 hours of cross stitch over the weekend. No, of course I didn't get 24 hours. Don't be daft. This, this is me we're on about. But on the Friday, I did join in a Zoom with Shaleen and all the guys. And I did manage to do two hours, 30 minutes with them. And then I think the following day I did 50 minutes or something like that. So let me show you <coughs> what I did. I worked is that the right one? on this with one. I worked on Long Dog Sampler Crossword. Now why I chose this one? Because Shaleen and, and Danielle on Facebook are doing a Long Dog Samplers Sal 2022. If you put that in Facebook, it is a private group, but you can join if you ask. To get all us to do our samplers and which is great because I've got two which I'll show you the other one after so I went back on to this one and I managed to do 291 stitches guys 291 stitches so let me show you look at this can you believe this is the first project bag I ever made stitched it by hand <laughs> and I still love it because it's padded it is now let's put that there oh, you don't need that and of course I'm working in the circle hoop. I'm not over keen on the circles because I keep getting that even though I pull it tight. It keeps getting slack but hey ho that's just me. So I've got my green which is what number is that? 906? Yeah 906 or is it 609? Hang on. I'm blind as a bloody bat. 906 906 is the green and the variegated is 52 that I'm using. Now, I've been experimenting with the, um, as you can see, I'm not taking out the hoops because it takes me ages to put in. And yes, I use these ties, which are just bag, magnetic bag ties to, to do it. And clips. These clips are really good. Paper clip things. And that's my own little cover minder. That's one of the first I ever made. But hey ho, hang on. The phone always goes. Anyway, so I've been experimenting with the variegated because with variegated, have I got any loose? Yeah. What you usually do with the variegated, you get the two strands. You don't use one strand on its own. You use the two strands. So you've got the same colour throughout, which works like that. Like these here. But on here I experimented as well of uh, just using one strand, folding it over and doing it that way. So I am literally going to have a mishmash of purples, which I like. Probably I should have done that one a bit darker, but hey ho, you know, we're learning. But I'm loving this. So I did 291 stitches, guys. 291 stitches. I was so chuffed. But yeah, everybody that I started this is way <laughs> to me already they've only just started but yeah it's a lovely green and as i said this is done on 14 count easy grip easy grip easy grid um because this is one of the first materials i ever bought when i started but yeah if you haven't got a long dog sampler i would highly recommend them because they are a joy to do so i will be doing more on that right let me just wrap that back up as i'll be getting in a mess and I use one of these which is from Bagsy Plus and I love these they're only about I think they're about £9 or something like that they're not much 
Not that nine pounds isn't much, but you know what I mean. Right, so I did that one, which I'm chuffed off, so I'll be working on that one again. Put that one down there. And then I worked on this one. Now, this is my project bags. This is one of my first ever of this type that I made. My Winky Wonky machine. Right, hang on. I'm on the browns, so keep the browns up. There's the picture over there. Right, this one. Now, if you've been following me for a long time, you will know about the story of the birds and bees, which is, I think it was on a live or a whip and chat. And it's a couple of stories about birds and the bees and bees, literally about birds and bees and the birds and the bees. And Rachel Ray, who's, who's chatting about it because she's a good friend, decided, <laughs> bless her, she sent me this because I said, oh, I'm going to have to find a birds and the bees um, cross stitch to do to remind me of the conversation that we all had. It must have been alive. Yeah, it must, well, it must have been alive because we were all talking about it. And uh, she's. She sent me this within minutes. So I thought, I've got to do it. And I absolutely... So it's the Birds and the Bees of 1557. So, again, I'm using... I'm not undoing it because it took me ages to... I'm doing this one in hand because I wanted to practice doing it in hand. And again, I've just got one of these paper clips. And I've changed all the colours. Because <laughs> that's what you do in it. So I've changed all the colours on this because I wanted it to be... Bright, cheerful, a bit of this and a bit of that and whatever. So I managed to do, um, I haven't added them up, 60, 120, 139 stitches on this one. And I love it. I just think it's a lovely, lovely stitch. But I'm using, which I got gifted at Christmas, one of these on this one. Is it on this one or is it? Yeah, it's on this one. And it's on my log, long dog. I swap them. I thought I might have had the packet still. Have I still got the packet? Yeah. Is this. It's an easy guide ball tip needle. This is a size 26. I was gifted this by um, Wolfpack. For Christmas. Get yourself one of these. If you've never used a ball tip needle. I'm going to get more of these. Because it is a dream to use. Absolutely dream it goes through these you wouldn't think it does but it does i love it so anyway so yeah so as i say and this i think was i can't remember who i ordered this off was it pole stitches i think i got this fabric and again it's 14 counts that's usually all i ever do is 14 count so that was it guys that was my stitching for the week but i've done some stitches and i thoroughly enjoyed it so and then I pulled out some that I really want to do as well. I was going to do, um, show you all my whips, but yeah, we decided against it. So I thought I'd show you what I want to have a go at this year. So I want to carry on doing some more on this one to see if I can finish this one by Christmas. <laughs> and I thought there might be a Christmas cross stitch, you know, sometimes there is. And this is how far I got on this one. I went a bit wrong on one of the colours, so I swapped some of the colours round. So, yeah, this was on an odd bit of fabric that I dyed in beetroot. Beetroot juice. I dyed this one, but it turned out quite nice, didn't it? So I thought, what can I do with it? Because I was experimenting on some pieces. So, yeah. My stitching isn't brilliant on this one. So I'm doing this on hand, but I think the more you practice on hand, so I've got a couple of pieces that I'm going to be doing by hand just to practice being able to do it in hand. Make sure you admire these people years ago when they were doing it by candlelight and by a window. Then I really want to, this is my project that I want to finish this year. This is the only one that I'm setting as a finish for this year is this one because I can't do challenges. The only problem is I can't find where I put my thread. Because I put my thread away safely and can't find where that safe place is. I think it's probably in the bag with baby Yoda in, but hey. So this is the Peruvian Flare Cat Reflection Sampler. I got this on Etsy and from that lady there. And uh, yeah, don't ask me how to say it. It's a lovely lady. And I love it. Absolutely love this one. And I and I chose a variegated, which I'm loving, and I'm using the two strands together. Um, and I just love the effect. I did think about going the same colour as this one, which is a garnet red, 
she suggested royal blue 820 or garnet red 815 um but i saw this very and don't ask me what it, what it was i don't know because i can't find the rest of it i think it's one i ordered off, off the etsy or something but i liked it so i've got to make sure that i've got enough to finish if not i'll just do the border of that and then do a different color in the inside so this is the one that i want to finish i just think it's brilliant so that's the one i want to want to finish oh what was that out of that was out of there. Hang on, let me just put that back in there because i'll be looking for that i lose enough as it is then i would like to do some on this long dog sampler where's the picture um this one this is pandemic yes i've been doing it a long time i know but i'm getting there so i've done all that page one there and i'm on page three so i'm on this is page three so i've done page one i've done page two and i'm on page three so um there and there i've got to do that so i've done across there that bit section there and i'm into there so i want to work some more on this one because again this is absolutely beautiful to work on i think the green is 500 is it just the one that's 500 yeah that's 500 green which i absolutely love there's so many different varieties of this going on at the moment um people are doing um all variated variegated some are doing it in black blue green whatever and then some are just doing changing the animals to different colors some are multi-tone all the way through it's just amazing what people can do but yeah too big a project for me to be swapping and changing colors on this one because i'd get confused so i've decided to do the 500 green and stick to it so yeah and this i am actually doing this on 28 count easy grid two over two and actually, because I wanted to get used to trying to do the 28, and I quite like doing the 2 over 2 now I'm getting into it. It's taken me a long time, but I do like that. But I've got to have good lighting, I must admit. I've got to have my good glasses on, because I've got really strong ones now, which help, and good lighting for that one. So that's another project that I really want to do. But it's helping because Shaleen and Danielle have got the long dog sampler. Sal going on. And I would like <laughs> to do some of this one. I know it finished in September, but I really would like to finish her, not finish her, sorry, continue with her. I am never, it's going to take me a few years to get this one done. But as you can see, I've nearly done the skull. So it's coming and I'm really pleased with her face. I just think she is beautiful. So I'm just, even if I just put two or three stitches in every now and again, that means there's two, two or three stitches nearer to the next part and so forth. So, yeah. So, that's that. So, that's another one that I'm hoping, for all the threads, hoping to um, continue doing this year. So, that, that's all I'm setting myself. Them ones to do this year. Um, I've got a basket down here. Ugh, let me just push it in. But we'll have to see. We will have to see and see how we go. See what happens. But yeah, when I get off here, I'm going to try and see if I can find the one for this one. See how we go. So let me know. What are you doing? What are you up to? Are you like me? Just, you know, got it in the background, want to do it? I really want to do it. But again, it's having the time, the energy to do it. Because I've been working on my Etsy stuff till sort of 10, 11 o'clock at night um because that's about the only time i get to work on it is in the evening so it's trying to fit everything in but um yeah let me know what you think of the things that i've been doing um think of the things that i am going to be doing did you like any of the ones i showed you is was there a favorite have you got a favorite that you're doing are you taking part in the long dog saddler hang on poplar today nobody's wrong me all day <laughs> you start filming they all ring you Anyway, thank you ever so much for stopping by and listening to me prattling on. I do really, really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed and you fancy staying around, I'd really appreciate it. There is a notification button down below to let you know when I go live. 
and when I upload a week, well, upload a week, upload videos in the week, which is a couple of times. And if you want to have a chat, if you're not sure that you want to leave a comment down below because you're quite shy, you can always send it me on my social media down below. If you want to check out my Etsy, my Patreon, my wish lists, my everything, everything you can think of is down below in the description. So all that's left for me to say is thank you for stopping by. Look after yourselves, take care and most importantly, stay safe. Love you all. Bye for now.